This information presentation will tell you all about Challenges Abroad's Nordic Wilderness Fundraising Challenge running in summer 2023 to Finland. This information presentation will introduce you to who we are and what we do at Challenges Abroad. Then it will provide an overview and a summary of the trip before introducing our partner charity, the Future Sense Foundation. Then we'll go over why you should sign up for this challenge, the costs associated with the challenge and the fundraising targets and support available. Finally, I'll discuss the measures we are taking with regards to COVID-19, our carbon capture promise and what kind of support you can expect from us and then how to get in contact and how to book onto your challenge. So who are we at Challenges Abroad? Well, we're a social enterprise running charity challenges to seven different international locations. We produce global citizens through providing students the opportunity to experience new countries, cultures and different ways of living. We also provide trips of a lifetime where students make new friends and have unforgettable travel experiences. For this challenge, you'll spend one week kayaking through the Finnish lake system in the summer of 2023. When you arrive at Helsinki Airport, you'll be met by our in-country team and we will transfer you to the city centre to begin your journey to Aravi, which is an idyllic village located in between the national parks Linansari and Kolovesi. On your second day in Finland, you will have a kayak training session in the morning before collecting your equipment to begin your kayaking challenge in the afternoon. You will paddle 10 kilometres to set up your first camp in Kusisari. The third day will be your first full day kayaking. You'll kayak 15 kilometres from Kusisari to Hoikansari. You'll set up your campsite on a small island and in the evening you can focus on resting or join in some guided activities focusing on enhancing your wilderness skills. On day four, you will kayak 15 kilometres from Hoikansari to Pitkasari, arriving in the Kolovesi area. In the evening, your group will get together with your guides to decide the next day's activities and destinations in the Kolovesi National Park. On day five, you will have the chance to explore the Kolovesi National Park, which is known as Paddler's Paradise. Rocky cliffs rise over the narrow lake channels that form part of the vast labyrinthine Saima Lake system. You will have a chance to see ancient rock paintings, which give an insight into how Finland's earliest settlers lived thousands of years ago. And you might also have the chance to spot the curious Saima ringed seal. This is one of the best places to spot these unique lake seals. Your kayaking challenge will come to an end on day six as you reach your final destination. After you have packed up your equipment, you'll be transferred to your accommodation where you might choose to relax in the sauna and in the evening there will be a barbecue and a chance to celebrate after an incredible challenge. On the seventh day, you'll have some free time to explore and pick up some souvenirs while also making your way back to Helsinki to catch your flights home. So in summary, this challenge gives you a great opportunity to have a real adventure, learn some wilderness survival skills and receive kayaking training to take on your challenge. A short video will now play giving you some insight into the kinds of places that you'll be kayaking. Greetings from Finland, my name is Victoria and right now I'm in one of the most beautiful lake areas in Finland called the Saima area and one of the most amazing kayaking places, so Kolovesi National Park. So I'm just about to get my gear and get ready to hop into a kayak and show you around. So come on, let's go! Are at the moment here at Kirkkoranta. Gonna paddle about 10 to 15 kilometers a day and follow something similar to this route right here. And we're gonna finish in Oravi. All right. You might know that we often rank as the happiest country in the world. 
And I know this is based on life expectancy and social welfare and things like that. But I do think that our 190,000 lakes actually contribute to that quite a bit, at least for me. All right, let's see if we can make a fire. So if you come on the Nordic Wilderness Challenge, you'll learn a lot about pitching a tent, fire making, kayaking, being every man's right, and just wilderness life in general. And if you don't know why we bring a shovel on these expeditions, you'll get to find out that too. Now I'm going to introduce you to our partner charity, which this trip supports. This is the Future Sense Foundation, which is an international development charity operating in six international locations with some of the most deprived and marginalized communities in the world. Over half of children and adolescents in education are not learning. One of our main aims at the Future Sense Foundation is to provide children around the world with quality education. And this is in line with sustainable development goal number four as set out by the United Nations. So one quarter of people don't have access to clean drinking water or safe toilet facilities. The Future Sense Foundation also improves access to clean drinking water and sanitation facilities in the locations where they work. And this is in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number six, clean water and sanitation. Now, a short video is going to play showing you more of the great work that the Future Sense Foundation does around the world. What does the Future Sense Foundation do? We work with young people in some of the most disadvantaged communities around the world help them achieve their aspirations for a better future. But how? We deliver long-term programs that ensure quality education, improve health and livelihoods, facilitating opportunities to learn, grow and succeed. But how can you help? You can fundraise, help raise vital funds to support education around the world. Because together we can build a fairer world. What does the Future Sense Foundation do? So here you can see the locations where the Future Sense Foundation work around the world. They have hubs in each of these locations, which run long-term development programs some of which have been operating for over 10 years. So there are many reasons why we think that you should support us in the work that we do that supports the Future Sense Foundation. So we're a grassroots organization with small permanent teams working with communities in each country to ensure the longevity of our programs. We are aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And as we have such small teams working directly with communities, our administration costs are very low and 90% of the funds generated for the charity are spent directly on programme delivery. We are environmentally conscious. Not only do some of our programmes educate communities about environmental sustainability, but we're also involved in carbon capture programmes such as reforestation programmes. And we are working towards making all of our programmes 100% carbon neutral, which I'll discuss a little bit further on in the presentation, some steps that we're taking to work towards that goal. And finally, every single fundraiser who fundraises for the Future Sense Foundation and comes on one of our challenges will make a sustainable impact on the programmes that we run and contribute to long term development initiatives. So there are loads of reasons to sign up to one of our challenges. You have the opportunity to go on the trip of a lifetime with loads of in-country support. 
You'll meet new people over the course of the year who you'll then travel with in the summer. You have the opportunity to enhance your CV as you develop your teamwork, confidence, resilience, compassion and cultural sensitivity. And to top it all off, you get to support long term projects which have a positive impact on some of the most marginalised communities. There may also be the opportunity to become a challenge leader at your university. Through this role, you can develop your leadership skills as you recruit a team of students to take on the challenge with you, support them as you build the team and fundraise and take on a leadership role as you undertake your challenge in Finland. And if you do choose to undertake this challenge leader role, you'll receive some exclusive perks, benefits and discounts. So how much will the challenge cost? Well, you must pay a registration fee in order to secure your place on the challenge. This can be paid in two instalments of £195 each. Then you must fundraise £1,250 over the course of the year. If you choose to be a challenge leader, you'll receive a 50% discount on your registration fee and your fundraising target will also be reduced based on the number of participants that you recruit and other leadership activities that you undertake throughout the year. So where does all that fundraised money go? Well, £625 of your fundraising target goes directly to the Future Sense Foundation. They then distribute this money between the six hubs in which they operate based on the needs of each hub. £625 will go towards the cost of your programme and this amount will cover your accommodation for the challenge, your meals while you're on the challenge, 24-7 support in country, transfers to and from the airport once you arrive in Finland, fundraising support throughout the year to help you hit your target, a Challenges Abroad t-shirt and the incredible experience of travelling to Finland and being guided through the lake system. This fundraising target does not cover flights, travel insurance, a visa should you need to pay for one and any vaccinations that you might need to have prior to travelling. Throughout the year, you'll be supported to reach your fundraising target by our fundraising team. We take a one to one approach to fundraising support and we tailor the fundraising journey to each individual's skills and experience. Here you can see some examples of the ways that you can reach your target. For example, you could sell old clothes online and put this money towards your fundraising or you could use social media to ask for support towards your trip and promote your fundraising page, um, get some support from friends and family, or you can also put on events through the uni or in your local town um, to raise money as well. So here we have a pie chart which shows you the breakdown of where a typical fundraiser obtains their funds from. Here you can see that typically things like bucket collections on campus raise around £125 for a fundraiser, while various different kinds of events can be more lucrative and raise nearly £400. So we understand that many people might have some concerns and uncertainty around signing up for something like this due to the risks associated with the COVID-19 pandemic. So we want to reassure you of all the measures that we're taking to ensure that your, our trips can continue to happen and that we can keep you safe. So we are limiting the number of participants sharing rooms in order to ensure safety. And we also have flexibility. So should travel restrictions change or borders close, we can either move your challenge to a different location or you can defer your challenge to the following year. So I mentioned earlier that we're working to become carbon neutral. In order to pursue this goal, we are paying to offset the carbon emissions of all of your flights to try and reduce the impact that we have on the planet when participants travel to their destination. And we're doing this at no additional cost to you. So you'll have loads of support from us throughout the process, be that with fundraising, getting to know your team and working together throughout the year, or any practical questions or concerns that you might have about the challenge. We'll run welcome meetings so you can get to know the rest of your team and pre-departure meetings to ensure that you're fully prepared to travel. You'll also be given full itineraries and packing lists prior to traveling. And we even have partner companies that we can direct you to in order to book your flights. So if you would like to support international development programs and spend a week kayaking through lakes in Finland, then sign up today by scanning the QR code or visiting our website. If you would like to be a challenge leader, please send an email to the address here so that we can let you know whether this position is available at your university and provide you with more information. But we hope to see as many of you as possible in Finland in 2023.